Roadmaps that include UX work can have three scopes, product, field, and specialty. Understanding these three types, when to use which, can focus your process, effort, and goals. So let's start with the broadest type of a roadmap, a product roadmap. Product roadmaps represent all future problems that need to be solved, including UX, marketing, content, design, research, development and support, or operations. This type of roadmap is the most labor intensive because it requires collaboration across multiple departments, such as product management, user experience, engineering, content strategy, customer success, and even marketing. Because everyone is involved, product roadmaps capture a strategic vision across an entire product. Product roadmaps have three primary benefits. First, they force cross-functional collaboration by facilitating important discussions and creating co-ownership across disciplines. Second, they create a shared mental model of that vision, a shared visual representation of future effort. And then lastly, they break down department silos. We can see how our work relates to the work of other departments because they include all problems, not just UX ones. They communicate relationships, dependencies, and the role that our work plays in the greater vision. Our second type of roadmap is a field roadmap. Field roadmaps represent all future problems to be solved by UX. For example, design, research, or content. But they do not include problems outside of UX, like marketing, development, or support. Field roadmaps provide a way to align across UX areas and educate our stakeholders on user-centered design processes. The primary benefit of field roadmaps is twofold. First, it helps us bridge UX areas by interweaving objectives from all UX areas into one visual. For example, the design team can see what the research team is tackling. The roadmap enables general awareness and fosters cross-pollination. For example, a designer can observe research relevant to their future work. The second benefit is communicating our UX design process to stakeholders. While a user-centered design approach is second nature for a lot of UX practitioners, many teams still have to educate their stakeholders on what it means to design user first. A field roadmap communicates the design process from early discovery work to content creation to wireframing because future UX work is clearly articulated and prioritized. Last up in our third type of roadmap is a specialty roadmap. Specialty roadmaps are a subset of field roadmaps and only focus on one UX area. For example, user research. Specialty roadmaps can cover multiple products or product features, but will always include only efforts related to that roadmap specialty. This type of low granularity roadmap is most common on small teams or organizations with low maturity, where an individual operates as a team of one or wants to contribute the strategic approach of their personal work. There are three primary benefits to these specialty roadmaps. First, they help communicate bandwidth and resource allocation. Two, they unite and align team members within one UX area and are the easiest to create. Due to the scoped nature of these specialty roadmaps, they tend to be the quickest to make, especially if the creator is the primary owner of each theme. Collaboration isn't required and there's far less politics involved than in the creation of product or all UX roadmaps. Specialty roadmaps are a great starting point for UX practitioners who are creating their first roadmap ever. To conclude, the first question you should ask yourself is what is the primary goal of your roadmapping initiative? Each roadmap scope, product, field, specialty, achieves different goals. Your roadmap scope should match the benefits you hope to achieve.